and welcome to another edition of Being Backup and Notification version 12 Tips and Tricks. In today's episode I wanted to talk about the file sharing and how we can backup a file share. So if we go to uh, our inventory we have the option of uh, adding a data source which we're gonna use and after that we can actually pick which kind of data source we want to add. So we have a file server option we have a file share and uh, in this file share we have SAP or NSF share and we have of course the NAS filer which is the NAS system if you are using true NAS core or Synology and of course we got object storage so we can add Amazon S3, Azure Blob or S3 compatible object storage. So for this presentation I'm going to use file sharing option. Since I have a file share based on SMB that is prepared on one of my Debian servers, I'm going to use the SMB share option. And here I'm going to add the address of my SMB share. I'm gonna also add the specific folder re related to this share. I'm gonna also specify the credentials for this share. And from here we get like backup proxies. I'm gonna choose all proxies and the cache repository. I'm gonna choose one of my repositories here. And I'm going to choose the option for the fastest backup. Okay, so as we, you can see, we can now go to file shares. And here is our SMB file share. We can, of course, add the file share here. Right. <coughs> or maybe I'm gonna just try it here. As you can see, we can mount our Samba share, private Samba share, and we have only like one additional text file. So now, if we go to our home, we can either do it from here by doing the backup job, or we can go to inventory. And we can create a backup job. Now I'm gonna just name it. backup samba and of course from here we're gonna pick our file share we can add different filters here if we are interested in it so I'm backing up the whole folder from this file share of course on this path and let's change Change this policy to 14 days. Compression level. Just gonna change it to extreme fast backup. Without any schedule. 
and I'm gonna run the job. So basically now our backup job for Samba is starting. Of course you can specify different folders from your share. This is only one of the options. And since my file was small, the backup went really fast as you can see, just for the test purposes. And there we go. The backup is completed. Let's go to fast backup, backups, and here is our Samba backup. Okay, so as always, like and subscribe if you like the content and I will see you in the next one.